We raise roughly 60,000 pheasants at our Rockport pheasant farm each year. These pheasants are used for our stocking program, they're used for our youth hunt, and they're also used for stocking our dog training areas. By the time November rolls around, the pheasants at Rockport are full grown. Uh, it's time to collect them up out of the range pens and put them in boxes for distribution. We have about 35 acres of range pens on the, the Rockport campus. When the birds are ready to be put into boxes, it's a, it's a multi-step process to get them there. We bring in a lot of staff from throughout the area. These are very large range pens and we're trying to move the pheasants from this very large area into a very small area. Walking in a, you know, a human chain across the back of the range pen to push those birds into the corner and out into the runways. So we use staff, full-time staff, we use seasonal staff. We also are involved in Department of Corrections inmate labor program where we have inmates come out to the farm on several days throughout the year to help with that pushing process. So the birds are pushed uh, through the range pens, through an opening, and into the runways. Once they're in the runways, then staff forms a smaller chain and pushes them down the runways and into an area where we can catch the birds and box the birds. Mm -hmm. What's happening here? Uh, the staff at the Rockport Game Farm is removing the birds from the runway into a holding area where there's a number of 12 to 15 employees, four different windows, handing five birds at a time out, putting into the new plastic boxes, 36 to a pallet, which equals 180 birds. And these will now transfer from the holding area by machine onto the back of the pickup trucks to be delivered to the different wildlife management areas through South, Central, and North Jersey. Once we have the crates loaded and the boxes on the trucks, our Bureau of Land Management staff stocks the pheasant on 23 different wildlife management areas and the Delaware Water Gap. The stocking takes place after sunset, and the philosophy there is that if you stock the birds at night, they'll fly less and they'll stay in place once they're, once they're placed into the fields. The birds are placed in fields throughout the stocked wildlife management areas and in the morning they're there, they're available for people at sunrise to, to hunt. For those people that have pheasant and quail stamps, they're available to hunt. Now what we find is sometimes people show up to hunt these birds and they'll call us and say, oh, there's, you didn't stock pheasant last night. And my reply is when we get those calls is we've stocked them, our staff was out there. And we do know our staff is out there stocking and our staff does an excellent job in this area. One of the difficulties is, however, that sometimes there's predation that takes place during the night after the birds are placed. We know that great horned owls kill a lot of birds. Um, and sometimes the birds move. You know, despite our best efforts to keep them in place, sometimes these birds do move. We do try to assist people that participate in this program to know where we stock through our pheasant stocking maps that are available on our website. And that's one way to help people focus in on where the birds are being placed. For the past several years, our target stocking number for the pheasant program has been 50,000 birds. In 2015, 2016, we greatly exceeded that number, upwards of over 55,000 pheasants stocked throughout the state. In 2017, we ran into some difficulties at the farm um, and our number was lower. Our projected number was 45,000 birds. So on average, we're still exceeding that 50,000 bird mark, but it's variable and it fluctuates from year to year. That is one of the challenges of growing your own pheasant for the division is that it's hard to hit that target number accurately. Sometimes you have high mortality and that brings you low. Sometimes you have low mortality and you overshoot your target, which is often a good thing. But that is one of the challenges of raising these 
pheasants on our own um, is that it's hard to hit that target. But our target each year is 50,000 birds for the stocking program. In an effort to promote youth participation in hunting, each year the division has multiple opportunities for youth hunters. For pheasant, we do an annual youth pheasant hunt on 10 different wildlife management areas. The Saturday before opening day, we have our youth pheasant day. You're going to keep your safeties on until you're ready to shoot. Keep your finger off the trigger because believe it or not, this is connected to this. The trigger doesn't have a brain, you guys do. We put this pheasant hunt on every year for the young hunters of the state of New Jersey, the inexperienced hunters. Um, they have a great time. We have wonderful dog handlers. The state of New Jersey, uh, Division of Fish and Wildlife, put out 250 birds here at Assenpink every, every year for us and it's a great hunt. Uh, we put on a breakfast, a lunch, uh, for everybody, and everyone has a great time. Uh, name's Dana Hook. I've been volunteering as a dog handler for about five years now. Uh, I run three Boykin Spaniels. Um, it's such a great program. Uh, I was part of it when I was a kid. My brother used to take me out here at Acid Pink, and uh, it's just a wonderful day. Hopefully, more kids get involved. There it goes. Easy, easy. There you go. Good shot. I've been doing this since uh, I started the hunt when I was 13. We, uh, we came here for our first pheasant hunt. Never, never had uh, pheasant hunted before. Shot my first, well, yeah, shot my first bird. First time, single, single shot, and uh, then shoot a bird again for like four more years. I'm just here because I, I love the kids and, and I love seeing them come out here and hunt the right way and learn how to do it, you know, the way that I learned over the course of my, my hunting years, you know, hunting over a dog and hunting safe and shooting the right direction and hearing it from all the guys that have done it and learned the right way. So this is like a great opening in, in the possibility of what you could be as a, as, a, as a hunter in New Jersey. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of fun and camaraderie and, and, and learning experience, a lot of life lessons. It's a perfect layout, it's, it's bird country. You don't get better bird hunting than, than this. This is, this is true blue bird hunting in New Jersey, it's fantastic.